Hi! In a previous video, we have talked about how to use a for loop and also a conditional if statement in a MATLAB environment. Now, in this video, I'm going to talk about how to combine these two, meaning I'll use a for loop with an if con end condition. Now, if you don't know how to use a for loop or, if it, or an if statement, I'll link down below the videos that will explain these things. Let's go to MATLAB and see the example. I have already used uh, or opened a script and saved it. Now let's see how can we define a for loop with an if statement. So first, we to do an if statement, we need a variable or a condition. So for to execute the condition, we will define the variable. Let's say we define a variable number, and we will have some value to it, but uh, we'll decide that later. Now we'll just set it up. So let's just say set up the for and we say the variable n will decide how many times the for will rotate or loop. So let's say n goes from 1 to 2. So we say that for loop will run for two times. Okay. Now we'll put the if statement. Now if we can say if number, uh, we have to define the condition here. Let's say if number is greater equal to 50 then display in the output the display command say congrats so what this thing does is that whatever value i have here it will take that it will test this condition whether that number is greater than or equal to 50 if that is true then it will come here and execute this command and also we can say else display let's say try again something okay and then we can say end now you can see that this end is for this if but there's another for here we need another end to end the for loop and this and is for the for loop. Okay, so now what it will do is that whatever number we assign here, it will test this one first. And then if that this is not true, then it will test this one and print this text. The issue is as we've used a for loop here for two times, it will run this twice and this output should be duplicated twice in the in the com command window. So let's just say number is, let's say 80. So it is greater than 50, so it should write congrats in our output. So let's just see running and see that. Okay, so congrats is printed twice because we have the loop running for two times. If I increase that to three times, this output should print three different congrats sentence. That's it. So you can see the outer layer of the loop uh, actually determines how many times it's this inside instructions are running. So this is running three times and three times it's printing. If we have something lower than 40, let's say uh, 50, let's say 40 and run it, it should print three times this try again sentence. We can increase or decrease how many number of times we want to loop this for loop. Let's say we want it to print it 10 times and that's it. So using a for loop and an if end statement, we can use these kind of situations and run how many number of times we want to run these commands. So that is for now. Thank you for, for watching. See you in the next one.